Hallelujah. Sorry for the interruption. For those who had already joined, I want to tell you the Lord has a plan for us. And I know our lives should never remain the same. This is the hour the Lord has made for us to worship Him, to give Him all the praise, to give Him all the glory. This is the month of March. Number three, biblical means resurrection. The power of our Lord Jesus Christ, the anointing of our Lord who is in heaven tonight, is going to resurrect everything that has been dying in our lives. There is nothing that will remain dead in our lives. Because tonight we are going to encounter with the power of resurrection. Tonight we are going to encounter with the power of the Lord. And I want to tell you the Lord has a good plan for you. The Lord knows what you are going through. The Lord knows what they are planning. And I want to tell you that anybody who is planning evil against you, that evil will never prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says when Baaram and Baarat plan evil against Israel, the Lord God caused Baalam to speak blessings to Israel. And to now I want to tell you that same same enemy that has been planning for your downfall, that has been planning to destroy your destiny, to now is going to declare that you are going to succeed in life in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to bring to you good news. You know many people know about the story of Lazarus. The Bible says that Lazarus was a good friend of Jesus Christ. And Lazarus was very sick. And Lazarus was about to die. But do you know what? They sent people to Jesus and told Jesus, Your friend is about to die. The Bible tells me Jesus told them it is okay. And Jesus never turned and go to see his friend. Because they knew Jesus had power. They knew Jesus had anointing. They knew Know Jesus at the command of a data. And to now I want to tell you the same same Jesus uh, they learned to when Lazarus was uh, sick. Uh, it's the same Jesus to now I want to bring to you. It's the same Jesus I want to bring to your house. Uh, after Lazarus has died, uh, he was dead for days. Uh, now Jesus is going to see him. Uh, I want to tell you when Jesus comes to your house, uh, you are told he must change. Hallelujah. So Jesus went with the disciple to see Lazarus. Lazarus who had died four days ago. And now Jesus is there. And now they are crying. The sisters of Lazarus are telling Jesus, if you are here, you know what? Our brother will never could not die. But tonight I want to tell you, Jesus answered them and told them, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Hallelujah. You know they were crying. They were complaining. They came with all Peter things, all Peter water. But Jesus told them, I am the resurrection. I am the life and I have come today. And Lazarus must resurrect in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see in the book of John chapter number 11, verse 25, very powerful. Watch this. I'm taking you somewhere. Watch this. I'm taking you somewhere. In the realm of the spirit, there's things that are happening right now. In the realm of the spirit, the devil is leaving your things. In the realm of the spirit, there is a resurrection happening in your marriage. There is a resurrection happening in your family. Your children will never be sick again because the power of the Holy Ghost is everywhere right now. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, uh, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. You who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. Hallelujah. Though your situation is looking like it is dead, uh, but I want to tell you, child of God, uh, it is going to live to not. Uh, though there's pain in your life, though there's pain in your body, though there's struggle in your life, uh, Jesus Christ is here to not. Uh, and 
command. I want to declare to that situation of yours. I want to declare to that pain of yours. I want to declare to you, whoever who believes in Jesus Christ, the powerful Lord Jesus Christ, tonight your situation is going to resurrect. Tonight your situation is going to change. Tonight there is a turn around. Why? Because Jehovah is in the house. The King of Glory is in the house. You know what? You know the things that are happening and you are seeing that you don't have a future. You are seeing you have lost even hope for your future. But tonight I want to tell you, Jehovah has a solution for that situation of yours. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes sickness has put us in a corner. Sometimes pain has put us in a corner. Sometimes a struggle has put us in a corner. Sometimes the ends of life have been stretched. You have trying to stretch, but you are not meeting them. But tonight I want to tell you, Jehovah is here tonight. Jehovah is here tonight. You know what? You know when Jesus entered into that house, you know many and Martha were crying and telling Jesus, do you know what? If you were here early, our brother will not die. But today you have come when he is four days dead. And Jesus told them, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to announce to your situation. Tonight I want to declare to your life that Jesus Christ is the resurrection and his life. You know whatever the enemy has planned. Tonight it's coming to an end in the name of Jesus. If you are there and you are watching me, say Amen. And the Bible says, verse 26, very quick, I'm taking you somewhere because I want to prophesy to few people to Nara because the Lord Almighty is here. And I know there's things that are going to happen in the spiritual realm because I see God restoring marriages. And I don't know why. Every time when I minister, God is reminding me of marriages. And I know God is raising a generation of power and a generation of excellence, a generation that will impact nations, a generation that will not talk of God, a generation that people will come to see the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the, the God that I'm bringing to you tonight, the God who answered by fire is my God, and tonight is going to answer into your situation, no matter what the situation is, my God, the God that I serve, the God who appeared inside the fire, the Lord of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the God who was with Daniel in the lion's den is the God that I'm bringing to you. The Lord who says that I will go with you. I shall provide for you. I will fight all your battles. Is the Lord that I'm bringing to your life. Is the Lord that I'm about to introduce to your situation. I don't know how hard is your situation but one thing I know my God is able. I don't know how difficult is your situation but one thing I know no, God has the answer for that situation. Verse 26, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe in this? Oh, God is asking mother now. Mother, do you believe in this? If you believe in me and you live in me, you shall never die. The Lord is now bringing a contradiction to this family. You know the brother is dead and the brother is in the grave. And Jesus is now asking mother, do you believe? Believe. Whoever who believes in me and lives in me will never die. And the mother is asking I asking herself some questions in her mind. Do you know Jesus? You are you are talking like somebody who don't understand. Lazarus was your, was your girlfriend. And now you are saying whoever who believes in you and whoever who lives in you will never die but have eternal life. My brothers and my sisters, sometimes when we bring the word of God to you, sometimes you feel that we are out of our senses. Sometimes you feel that 
this water, it is not practical, but I want to tell you it is practical. Law has power to raise the dead and the Bible says if you believe in the Lord, the things Jesus has done, you shall do it even more. I believe the law will use us to raise the dead. The law will use us to heal cancer. The law will use us to heal HIV AIDS. And tonight I want you to see as the Lord is moving in our midst, as the Lord is moving in your life, there's those that have been struggling. You have been balanced for many years. And tonight I want to raise the Lion of Judah, our Lord Jesus Christ, to your life. You are going to conceive and you are going to be a child. I see somebody there. You are struggling of pain. Oh my God. I don't know which pain is that. You are saying, oh, you will not see the next month of April. But I want to tell you, you will see next year. Because my God is alive. Jehovah is alive. And tonight I want to declare to your life. There must be a turnaround. Jehovah is here to do a turnaround. You know there is a... Many people, many Christians talk about resurrection power. Many Christians want to know about the resurrection power. But tonight, I want you, wherever you are, I want you to experience the resurrection power. Not to know the resurrection power. Not to hear my words. But I want you to experience the resurrection power in your life. I want you to feel that now. I want you to experience the resurrection power in your marriage. Resurrection power in in your body. If there is anybody who is sick to Nara, I want you to experience the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible tells me, child of God, when the time came for the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, nobody was able to stand before that might power. And that's the power the Lord is releasing to you to Nara. That's the anointing the Lord is releasing to you to Nara. That's the power that is coming to your house. That is the power power that is coming to your family. That is the power that is now locating you. The Bible says the soldier who was standing there who was ready so that if Jesus can resurrect so that he can suit Jesus and bring him down. The Bible says that there was, was a might at quicker and nobody was able to stand up before the power of the Holy Ghost. To now the might power of the Lord is upon you. The might power of the Lord is upon your marriage. The the might power of the Lord is upon your family. The might power of the Lord is upon your children. Nobody will be able to stand against you. No disease shall be able to stand against you. No sorcerers shall be able to stand against you. Anybody who is planning evil against you will never be able to stand before you. Why? Because the power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ is in your house. The power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ is in your house. You are struggling in ministry. You are struggling in that project that you are about to do. But I want to tell you to Nara, the struggle is ever more. The struggle is now ceasing to Nara. Because the Lord is about to show up. The Lord is about to show up. The resurrection power is working upon somebody to Nara. The resurrection power is working upon somebody to Nara. You are there and you are watching me. You are there and you have been struggling with cancer. You are there and you have been struggling with any kind of disease. My God is telling me tonight it is over. It is over. My God is telling me tonight it is over. It is over. You are passed you are a person of pain. You have even called, you, you, you have even named yourself with other names. You have said, this is my sickness. You have said, this is my struggle. You have said that I was created like this. Ah, no, no, no. God never created you like that. You were created to shine. You were born to shine. You were born to call the mantle. You were born to preach the gospel. You were born so that the right of the the, the, the right of God shall come to the water. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody, if you are there and you are now to Nara, you are preparing for for your, your end time. I want to tell you, it is not over. It is not over. You are stolen. The Lord is lighting it in a new way. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you know what? 
eternal life is experienced by Jesus. Uh, knowing Jesus Christ uh, is knowing the eternal life, the life in abundance. Hallelujah. You know why Paul said in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 18 uh, that I don't consider the present suffering uh, but I, it cannot be compared with the glory of God that is coming. Uh, why Paul said that? Uh, Paul knew that the resurrection power of Lord Jesus Christ uh, will change the story. We change whatever the people are saying. Uh, you know people have been branding you with sickness names. Uh, people are branding you with failure. To now I want to tell you the endless election power of Lord Jesus Christ uh, is going to locate you. The life of my God Jesus Christ uh, is going to locate you to now. Uh, here I am and I want to introduce you to this Jesus. Uh, the Lord who has power. The Lord who has anointing. The Lord when it comes to your house, uh, the pain that you have in your heart, the pain that you have in your body, the pain that you have anywhere, oh my God, uh, is going to settle it to Nara. Do you know what uh, some people say? You know, Paul said in the book of Philippians, chapter 3, verse 10, uh, that you know I'm fighting, I'm now struggling uh, to make my ends meet. You know, Paul was speaking about uh, the resurrection power of Jesus Christ, uh, and Paul was focusing on knowing Him, uh, knowing and experiencing this resurrection power. Child of God, to not uh, as we are about to wind up, uh, to not is so another. Uh, if there is anyone need to rejoice. May you rejoice in the resurrection power of the Lord. If there is anyone need to push to Nara, you say that you have made it. He is somebody who has known and who is experiencing the resurrection power. That's what I want to tell somebody to Nara. That the resurrection power, the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ is real. Amen. You know, some people love stories. But for me, I don't want to tell you stories. I want you to feel the power of the Holy Ghost tonight. I want God to touch you. The resurrection power, may it come to your house. Amakatu vakatu. sakayata. satayanda. The Lord is now moving. The Lord is now moving. Shatayanda. You know, I hear the Lord telling me about the selection power. I hear the Lord telling me that I'm about to give somebody new life. I don't know what you've been struggling with. I don't know which pain that you've been struggling with. But the Lord is telling me tonight. You have been having very pain in your stomach and tonight you are watching me. I want to tell you it is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, it is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. No matter how long it has taken, no matter what time it has taken, remember what the Bible has said. Russell had died four days ago, but when Jesus Christ came to their house, the Bible says that the resurrection power and life came back to Russell. And tonight I want to say, no matter how, how long you have been in that pain, no matter how long you have been in that struggle, no matter what the enemy is planning for you no matter what the devil is planning for you do not I want to tell you it is over in the name of Jesus not by my mind and not by my power but it's by the power of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ your story is changing your story is changing somebody your story is changing tell your friend whoever you are my story is changing my story is changing do 
tonight. Uh, my story is changing tonight. My story is changing. Uh, so wherever you are, be ready right now. My Father, my God, uh, the King of Glory, may you raise your selection power to your people. May you raise your selection power to your people. May the selection power locate them wherever they are. May you locate them wherever they are. Shatayanda la bababu. Rikazande diriribu. Riapoko to Zaya. May you locate them wherever they are. Those who are in pain to Nara. The resurrection power of God is locating you. Locating you. Somebody receive now. Receive right now. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of the Lord is locating somebody. The resurrection power of the Lord is locating somebody. The resurrection power of the Lord is locating somebody. The Lord Almighty is healing somebody HIV AIDS. Shataya Rabo Sandu. Rima Sataya Babu Sakayata. Ribo Shatayanda. The realm of the spirit, I see a man. You are a man. You are a victim of HIV AIDS and you are in hospital right now. Shataya laba shatayanda raba seke tere bazando riba seke yatara busanda. Your name is John and you are receiving healing. Shataya laba zando robo sakata buzaya riba seke tere baba busanda laba sakayata riba sakayanda. In the spiritual realm, I see darkness. I see darkness. Darkness has covered many people. People think they are walking on the right, but they are in darkness. Oh my God, my God. Why is in the realm of the spirit somebody? Wherever you are, the Lord is changing your story. The Lord is changing your story. Yes, people are in darkness. You are in darkness. You don't see where to go to. You don't see the next step. You are trying to make steps in life, but you are not making it up because the darkness of the devil has covered you. Mm. And do not I want to deliver you by the power of the Holy Ghost. The mm. Lord with the resurrection power tonight is locating you. Mm. People have been struggling with pain. People have been struggling with sickness. The darkness of diseases has covered people around the world. Mm. The darkness of political arenas have been covering people around the world. Mm. People have been in groups because the darkness of the devil has covered them. And I want to tell you, the devil is planning evil against our nation. Raba Sandu Robo Sakayatu Riba Shetere Bababo Zekayanda Riko Satayata Raba Shata Ribo Shalalabu Riande Katayanda I see darkness I see men in black I see men in black they are increasing in our nation. I don't know why they are increasing, but tonight I want to raise an altar of worship. But tonight I want to raise the altar of our Lord Jesus. Tonight I raise an altar of worship, the altar of the enemy, the altar of devil worshippers, the altar, the altar of the devil, the altar that want to shed blood. It will never come to pass because I see men in black and they are increasing. As days goes, they increase. As days goes, they increase. I ask God why. And the Lord is telling me, these men are planning to shed blood. And tonight I want to ask my God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to stop this man from their evil agenda. These evil men that are raising their altars to shed blood in our nation will never come to pass in the name of Jesus. 
Men of God, wherever you are, pray. Women of God, wherever you are, pray for our nation. Because I see darkness, and when I saw darkness, I saw men in black. They are increasing, they are increasing. And when I asked my God, why am I seeing these men in black? The Lord told me, this man, their agenda is to share blood. And my God to now is telling me that nations, let us pray. Let us pray for our nation. Let us pray for our Kenya. Let us pray for Kenya. Because this man, if we don't pray, their mission will be accomplished. They will share blood. And I don't know whose blood they will share. Maybe they will share blood of your children. If you hear me, if you get, if you get this creeper, share. Tell friends to tell friends uh, that no is Lord is here in our nation uh, as men and women of God. Let us pray. Let us bring our nation to the Lord uh, so that these men who have evil agenda, because the devil has initiated an altar. The devil has initiated an altar. He has sent their angels. He has sent people to come who are ganging against Kenya so that they can share blood. Uh, but the altars of the devil, the altars of devil worship. The altars from hell, the altars of Antichrist will never come to pass because there is a man somewhere who is praying. There is a good man somewhere who is praying for our nation. And I want to assure you, if we pray without ceasing, our nation will be saved. If we pray without ceasing, our nation will be saved. But if we don't pray, as I saw the darkness, these men who are increasing, were increasing day after day. May God help Kenya. 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 In the name of Jesus, uh, this evil man will never raise again. Uh, this evil man will never raise again. Uh, I declare affliction of the enemy will never raise again. Uh, the shed of blood in our nation will never raise again. Uh, my God, uh, the shed of the blood what we experienced in the year 2007, 2008 we never raise again in our nation now. These evil plans of the devil, we cut them off in the name of Jesus. Pray pray, somebody pray pray even for this wave of COVID-19 that it will never raise another time. This are Friction. We have been tormented by the enemy. Enough is enough. There is a man somewhere who is getting me. If there is a good man of God somewhere who is getting my voice, may you pray for this nation. Pray for the entire world that the COVID-19 waves will never come again another time. That may God heal the world. May God heal the world. May God heal Kenya. May God protect Kenya. My God, I said Declare the blood of Jesus over the nation of Kenya. May somebody declare the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus over our nation. The blood of Jesus over Kenya. The blood of Jesus over every corner of Kenya. The blood of Jesus over the entire world. The blood of Jesus in India. The blood of Jesus in Ukraine. Somebody pray for Ukraine. You should pray for Ukraine. No more shed of blood. No more fights. Oh my God. Somebody stand and pray. May God set all every fight between Russia to now and Ukraine. May God set it to now in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray, pray, pray. We don't want another third world war. May God now fight his battles. May God take it over right now. Riando Koto Robo Shanda. Rikadaraba. The Bible says that we are more than conquerors through Christ. But how, how can we conquer without praying? How can we conquer without being in the praises of the Lord? To nourish our nara. To nourish our nara. May we stand for a nation. May we pray for Ukraine. May we pray for Russia. May we pray for the entire nations around the world. The fights that are going on. The cries that are going on. My God, may you, you may you hear the people's cry. My God, may you hear the people that are suffering around the world. May 
May you hear us, Lord, as we pray to Nara. We pray, we pray for our nation. We pray for Ukraine. We pray, we pray, my God. May you come and take over the Prince of Peace. May you restore peace. Oh, the Prince of Life. May you bring life to all the nations around the world. My Father, my God, the King of Glory, I declare your peace over the nations around the world. I declare your peace over the nations around the world. My Father, my God, I stop every altar of the bloodshed, every altar of the enemy that is planning to shed more blood in Ukraine. I declare to Nara, my Father, you are going to bring it to an end. Bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. Bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nishi, the King of Glory, the miracle working God, you are power than the people the Lord are ganging against the lives of people. You are power against the enemy. You are power against my father, the new cross. You are power against the merciless. You have power against every evil planner. You are power against Pompras. You are power, my God. I declare, may your power be manifested in this nation. May your power be manifested in Ukraine. May your power be manifested in the entire world. May your power be manifested in your people. Those who are crying to Nara, may your power, may your my power be manifested in their house. My father, my God, to Nara, I pray for the people around the world. Those who are suffering of pain, those who are crying to Nara, I declare to Nara, their cries are coming to an end. Those who have been sent, my father, the enemy have sent them to be brought down. To not I declare that the enemy has no power. To not I declare the devil has no power over their lives. Whatever they are, Jehovah, I pray for their resurrection. I pray for their resurrection. Whatever the enemy, the enemy come. Catch fire to not in the name of Jesus. Catch fire to not in the name of Jesus. The enemy, whatever, is coming and planning evil. You are coming and planning evil. Even to kill the child of Rian. To not I declare my God. Riando Koto Bakata. You have no power. I raise an altar of fire. I raise an altar of my father, the king of glory. Oh, that child will be every night now. Shalabayanda. Riko Sandiribu. Shatayanda. I declare, I declare, I declare there's no peace in the camp of the enemy. There will never be peace in the camp of the enemy. Therefore, worship us wherever you are. Even if the father of that child gone wherever they have gone, I call him in the name of Jesus. Come back in the name of Jesus. Come back in the name of Jesus. Come back in the name of Jesus. This month of resurrection, I declare that marriage is resurrecting. I declare that marriage must resurrect. That business must resurrect. That health must resurrect. Cancer go away. HIV AIDS go away. Diabetes blood pressure go away. In the name of Jesus and my God There have been planning evil against you. They have been planning evil against your family. To now I send confusion in their camp. I send confusion in their camp. My father, my God, may thunder go to their camp. My Father, my God, may you disturb them. Tonight they will never sleep. Those who have been planning evil against you. Those who have been planning against evil against this nation. Those who have been planning evil against the children of God. I send fire in their camp. I send fire in their camp. I send Holy God fire in their camp. My Father, my God, the devil has been sending diseases, sickness to the people of God. And to not I declare, may they catch fire, catch fire wherever they are, catch fire in the name of Jesus, catch fire in the name of Jesus, catch fire, be consumed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says Jesus came so that we can have life and have it in abundance. I declare life right now in your life. I declare life right now in your life. Life come upon you right now. May life locate you. May life locate you. May the Lord locate you wherever you are. May Lord locate you wherever you are. Mm. 
Rabaseke debu. Rando koto saya. May God locate you wherever you are. May God locate you. May God locate your children. May God locate your wife. May God locate you. Shalabayando robo sakatala bazanda. Every order that is standing against your success. Every witch that is standing against you. Every generation of cars that is coming to bring a setback in your life. Mm -hmm. I destroy it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I destroy it in the, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I bring down every strong altar, every altar that is fighting you, every altar that is fighting your success. Mm -hmm. May it catch fire in the name of Jesus. Raba seke raba zando. Rambo koto zaya. Rabu seke talaba sanda. Riko zanda la bababu. Riko zata la bababu se kayanda. Riba shata la bababu se kayanda. Tonight, child of God, I decree a restoration. I decree a new revival in your life. I declare a selection in your ministry. Yes. I declare a selection in your business. Uh, the selection of your good healthy to not. Uh, mm -hmm. I declare a selection. Breakthroughs in your life in the name of Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. I declare a selection of peace in your marriage. Uh, mm -hmm. May God restore fast love in your marriage in the name of Jesus. Uh, mm -hmm. That Amoiba, may it catch fire and go away in the name of Jesus. Uh, and to not, I declare in the name of our Lord Father, you are been set free. You are free. You are free. You are free. In the name of Jesus, you are free. Kenya, you are free. Kenya, you are under the blood of Jesus. God is covering Kenya. God is covering Ukraine. The blood of Jesus is all over. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has power. The blood of Jesus has power. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus in your house right now. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I like the time of Moses and Pharaoh, when the angel of death came and struck the firstborn in the land of Egypt, the Lord told Moses that may you put the blood in your doorpost and the inch of death will jump over, will pass over and to not I declare may that blood of Jesus cover your house when the devil, when the enemy, when the inch of death come to kill what the enemy is planning, it will jump over it will jump your house so that it will not kill you it will kill the enemy, it will kill the devil, it will kill whatever they are planning even again you may God be with you, may God cover you, may God protect you, may God stand and fight for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, wherever you are, celebrate our God, celebrate our God, celebrate our God. The Lord is ever faithful. Celebrate the King of Glory. Our Father is awesome. Our God is so great. Our God is so great. May God, Father, receive the praise. Father, receive the honor. Father, receive the adoration. Thank you for my viewers. Thank you for every person around the nation. Thank you, Father, for it. My Father, thank you for a sick. My Father, thank you for raising a generation of excellence. Thank you for selecting our lives. Thank you for selecting our good health. Father, we love you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. For you are good and for you are greater. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, we give thanks and we give praise and glory. Amen and amen. May God bless you. May God do good as we are continuing the prophetic hour. Worship every Thursday. I want to tell you, tell a friend to tell a friend because I know the Lord is doing something in our midst. I want to share with you this good news that the Lord is raising a generation, a generation of revival, a generation that will bring change in our nation and I am the I am the one, you are the one the Lord is raising, so be ready to bring revival, be ready to preach the gospel, humble yourself so that God can use you I want to tell you you are the one the Lord wants to use you so that his kingdom can come and manifest in this earth through you Oh.
So we are on. When time you want us, call our numbers. Just text us, uh, inbox us, WhatsApp us. Uh, we will pray with you. We don't ask for money. We are not after money, but we are after preaching Jesus Christ. Uh, we want Jesus Christ to be known. We want Jesus Christ to be preached to the entire world. Uh, but if you God has spoken to you to support the work of God, uh, then you can do it willingly without no without nobody pushing you to do it. Uh, may God bless you. May God do good. Uh, and may God be with you and your family. In Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless them wherever they are. May you protect them and may you be with them. In the name of Jesus, I pray and believe. Amen, amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I love you all. I love you all. Let us see each other next time. Amen, amen.